गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुर्साक्षा परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम वक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्यकोटिम प्रभा निर्विघ्न कुर मे देवाकु सर्वदा सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभं क्या सिद्धिर्भव मे सदा कृष्णा वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय च नंदगोपकुमाराय गोविंदय नमो नम ओ पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनीना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबा तामुसंदधा भगवदगीते भगवत्षिणी नमोस्तु ते व्यास विशाल बुद्धे फुल्लारविंदय तपत्रनेत्र भारततैलपूर्ण प्रज्वालि ज्ञानमय प्रदीप प्रपन्न पारिजातायत्रेत्रकपाणे ज्ञान मुद्रा कृष्णा गीतामृतुहे नम वसुदेव देव कंसचाणूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गुर भीष्मद्रोण तटा जयद्रतजला गांधारनीलोत्पला शल्यग्राहवती कृपेण वहनी कर्णेन वेलाकुला अश्वत्थाम विकर्ण घोरमकरा दुर्योधना वर्तिनी सोत्तीर्णा खलु पांडवैरण नदी कैवर्तक केशव पाराशर्यवच सरोज ममल गीताकटम नानाख्यानकसर हरिकथा संबोधनाबोधित लोके सज्जन षटरहर पेपीयम मुदा भूया भारत पंकज कलिमल प्रध्वंसी नेयसे मूक कौती वाचाल पंगु लंघयते गिरी यहां वंदे परमानंदमाधव गीताशास्त्रदम पुण्यम यठे प्रयत पुमान्ष्णु पदमवाप्नोति भयशोक विवर्जि गीताध्ययनशील से प्राणायाम पर नव सी पापानी पूर्वजन्म कृता च मल निर्मोचन पुंसा जलस्ना दिने दिने सकृदीतांसी स्ना संसार मलनाशनम गीता सुगीता कर्तव्या कि शास्त्र विस्तर या स्वयं पद्मनाभ से मुख पद्मास्रिता भारतामृत सर्वस्व विष्णुर्वक्रात्सृत गीता गंगोदक पीवा पुनर्जन्म विद्यते सर्वोपनिषदो गावो दोग्धा गोपालनंदन पार्थो वत्स सुधीर्भोक्ता दुग्धम गीतामृत महत् शास्त्र देवकीपुत्र गीतमेको देवो देवकीपुत्र एको मंत्रस्त या कर्माप्येक सेवा शाता भुजगशयन पद्मनाभम सुशम विश्वाधारम गगन सदृश मेघवर्ण शुभांगं लक्ष्मीका कमलनयन योगिभ्यानगम्यं वंदे विष्णु भवभयहर 
சர்வோக்கைகநாதம் யம் பிரம்மாவருணேந்திரருத்திரமருதஸ்துன்வந்திவ்யைஸ்தவைதைசாங்கப்பதக்கிரமோபனிஷதைர்காயந்தி யம் சாமகாஸ்தனமனசாபியந்தி யம் யோகிஹ யம் ந விதுசுராசுரகணாதேவாயதஸ்மை நம ஓகே so how is everyone and how are the first batch are you excited to start the second part yes yes bhagini very excited okay good good all of you have books right yes yes i'm bhagini namaste vanigar namaste namaste aunty okay so let us start with the second book so in the first page what we have is upapada vibhaktah it says right the lesson says upapada vibhaktaya vibhaktayah um kaha anyah asti sadrishah maya so that is the heading of this lesson maya sadrishah kah anyah asti that is the anvaya okay maya sadrishah <clears throat> kah anyah asti who is like me who else is like me that is the meaning of that uh, uh, sentence okay um, so soon we will understand why they put that as a heading of this lesson <clears throat> so before starting um, the sambhashanam that is given here we all in a, in part 1 we have studied the rules of all the vibhaktis right prathama vibhakti there isn't uh, there, there aren't that many rules the karta of a karmani prayoga vakyam will be in prathama vibhakti so uh, that is the only rule for prathama vibhakti and again in karmani prayoga uh, vakya Uh, the karma padam will be in prathama vibhakti that is all um, you know there is for prathama vibhakti but for dvitiya vibhakti uh, we learned that when a word is the karma padam of a vakyam then it will be uh, it should be in dvitiya vibhakti that is called karma karaka so the karma karaka of a sentence will take dvitiya vibhakti as per panini's sutras now then there are other words which can be in dvitiya vibhakti though they are not the karma padam of the sentence say for example um, kailasam parvati kailasam adhitishtati okay um, and then uh, paathashalam ubhayatah vrikshah santi so here also paathashalam is in dvitiya vibhakti in the earlier sentence uh, parvati kailasam adhitishtati normally can say parvati kailase vasati or tishtati but kailasam adhi tishtati so here the word kailasam is in dvitiya vibhakti and similarly in the other sentence paatha shalam is in the is in dvitiya vibhakti but are these the karma padams of that sentence no they are not the karma padams but they still take dvitiya vibhakti why why because uh, certain words they instigate the usage of certain vibhaktis so in parvati kailasam adhitishtati the the prefix adhi uh, because of that kailasam which should have been in saptami vibhakti uh, is in dvitiya vibhakti so say for example there is no adhi only tishtati is there then we will say parvati kailase tishtati okay because adhi is there that word because of that word kailase which is originally in saptami vibhakti because it is indicating the location will be in uh, dvitiya vibhakti okay so this word adhi is causing this dvitiya vibhakti to be there okay and then again similarly um, paathashalam ubhayatah vrikshah santi so here also paathashalam dvitiya vibhakti is because of the word ubhayatah 
Normally, it should have been in Shashti Vibhatti. Pathashalayah Ubhayataha Prikshaha Santi. On both sides of the school. So, meaning-wise, Shashti Vibhakti is actually more uh, appropriate there. But we are using Dvitiya Vibhakti. Why? Because there is a rule saying whenever the words Ubhayataha, uh, Abhitaha, Paritaha are used, then the word which are used, then the word which is used along with these three keywords will be in Dvitiya Vibhakti. So, Similarly, in Trutiya Vibhakti also. Trutiya Vibhakti, normally, when do we use? For Karana Karakam, means the instrument. Whatever you are using as an instrument to get that Kriya done, that will get the Karana Karakam and it will take Trutiya Vibhakti. But then sometimes other words are also in Trutiya Vibhakti. Ramena Saha Sita Vanam Gachati. Ramena Saha. Here, Ramena is in Trutiya Vibhakti. But is the Sita using Rama as an instrument to go to the forest? No. Ramena is in Trutiya Vibhakti. Why? Because there is Saha. This word Saha, whenever it is used, the word with which it is used should be in Trutiya Vibhakti. That is again a rule. So here Saha is causing this Trutiya Vibhakti for Rama. And then uh, similarly, we have such... Uh, um, the, uh, such rules based on certain usage of words. Vina, for example. Ramam Vina Sita Na Jeevati. Okay, Ramam Vina. Because Vina is there, we put Rama in Dvitiya Vibhakti. But Vina also has, uh, uh, also allows the usage of Trutiya and Panchami Vibhakti. So, whether it is Dvitiya Vibhakti or Trutiya or Panchami for Vina, uh, those Vibhaktis are coming because of the word of word Vina. Not because it is the Karmapadam, not because it is the Karanakarakam, or not because it is a Padana. Okay? Only because the word Vina is there, any of these three Vibhaktis can be used. So, when a Vibhakti is used because of the uh, existence of certain words like uh, uh, Ubhayataha, or because of Saha, because of Vina, uh, when, when such words are causing a vibhakti to happen, then that vibhakti uh, in that particular case is called upapada vibhakti. Upa means near. Upapada, because it is near that word, that keyword, saha or vina or uh, ubhayataha or paritaha or whatever. So Rama is near the word saha. Pathashala is near the word ubhayataha. Um, Kailasam is near the word Adhi. So, because of this, these words are getting that Vibhakti. So, that Vibhakti which is used in uh, because of the word is called Upapada Vibhakti. Because it is near that word, it got this Vibhakti. That is the meaning. Now, um, let us see more application of uh, Upapada Vibhaktis. A few more, a few more uh, applications of uh, this Upapada Vibhakti. Some of them we have already studied in level one, the ones that I have mentioned. But then here we will see a few more. Okay. So let us read this uh, Sambhashana. Rameshaha Bhoho Bhavan Kutra Gachati Maheshaha Devalayam Prati Gachami Rameshaha Bhavata Saha Kaha Agachati Maheshaha Maya Saha Mama Putraha Agachati Rameshaha. Maya sahatu vayasa bhavataha putrena sadrishaha mama putraha govindaha api asti. Maheshaha. Mama putraha mitraihi vina kutrapi nagachati. Rameshaha. Bhavan itaha devalayam eva gachati kim. Na aham adau devalayam nagachami. Tata purvam apanam gachami. Tata purvam. Astu, apanam gachamaha. Mahyam madhuram krinatu. Uh, Chinmaya is saying. Chinmaya is Mahesh, uh, Maheshasya putraha. Maheshaha. Vatsa, devalaya gamana samaye madhuram mastu. Chinmaya. Madhuram avashya kameva. And then he cries, Rodhiti. Maheshaha. Putraka, Rodanena alam. Deva darshanat param madhuram svikurmaha. Astu, Gacha Mahatavat. Okay. So here, in uh, the, the letters in the bold, the words that are in bold, 
uh, are the the words that are instigating uh, the vibhaktis okay so in devalayam prati gachami prati because of the usage of prati devalayam is in dvitiya vibhakti uh, even without prati it will be in dvitiya vibhakti anyways because it is the karma padam but um, but uh, prati uh, definitely will cause dvitiya vibhakti and there is a slight difference in the meaning also so if i say devalayam gachami means aham devalayam gachami i go, go to uh, the temple aham devalayam prati gachami here the word prati indicates that i am going uh, till there okay prati gachami means until there it uh, whether i am going inside the temple or not is not being mentioned when i use prati um in telugu we say sandhu chevar daka veltamu gudi varaku veltamu like that we, that usage is there in telugu similarly here this is that kind of usage prati gachami we will go until there that is how it means um so here prati because of prati devalayam is in dvitiya vibhakti bhavata saha kah aagachati along with you who is coming bhavata saha because of saha the bhavat shabda is in tritiya vibhakti bhavata maya saha mama putra aagachati again saha is used so aham asma asmad shabda will be in tritiya vibhakti and it will become maya maya saha tu वयसा भवतः पुत्रेन सदृशः मम पुत्रः गोविंदः अपि अस्ति नौ रमेश इज सेइंग इवन आई हैव अ सन हु इज द सेम वाइस द सेम एज एज योर सन ओके मया सह तु इवन विथ मी आई हैव समबडी हु और आई हैव अ सन बाय द नेम गोविंद हु इज ऑफ द सेम एज एज योर सन भवतः वयसा भवतः पुत्रेण सदृशः सो ही इज लाइक योर सन ही इज लाइक योर सन इन व्हाट इन एज दैट इज व्हाट ही इज कंपेयरिंग आई हैव अ सन हु इज ऑफ द सेम एज एज योर सन सो पुत्रेण सदृशः सदृशः दिस वर्ड आल्सो विल इंस्टिगेट तृतीय विपत्ति ओके सो पुत्रेण इज इन तृतीय विपत्ति विद हूम वी आर कंपेयरिंग दैट विल बी इन तृतीय विपत्ति मात्रा सदृशः पुत्री अस्ति लाइक मदर द डॉटर इज देयर लाइक दैट वी कैन यूज दैट मम पुत्रः मित्रैः विना उत्रापि न गच्छति सो हियर द वर्ड विना इज कॉजिंग तृतीय विभक्ति बट इट कैन आल्सो कॉज द्वितीय एंड पंचमी विभक्ति ओके वी हैव सीन द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द्वितीय विभक्ति विद विना वी हैव आल्सो सीन तृतीय विभक्ति Uh, so here trutiya vibhakti is used any of these three can be used even panchami vibhakti can be used uh, those who have done vibhakti vallari will know that uh, but otherwise uh, know that panchami vibhakti a word can be in panchami vibhakti when it is used with vina though that uh, usage is very uh, rare it is still there grammatically that is that application is still there anantaram भवान् इतः देवालयमेव गच्छति किम् इतः मींस फ्रॉम हियर फ्रॉम हियर आर यू गोइंग टू द टेंपल ओनली न अहम् आदौ देवालयम् न गच्छामि ततः पूर्वम् आपणम् गच्छामि ततः पूर्वम् हियर द वर्ड पूर्वम् इज कॉजिंग ततः टू बी इन पंचमी विपत्ति ओके सो पूर्वम् परम ओके पूर्व और पर डिपेंडिंग ऑन विथ व्हाट यू आर कंपेयरिंग हियर आपणम इज इन नपुंसक सो पूर्व इज इज यूज पर इज आल्सो यूज इवन विथ पर पंचमी विभक्ति विल बी यूज सो द वर्ड्स पूर्व एंड परम आर कॉजिंग पंचमी विभक्ति टू हैपन सो द पंचमी विभक्ति दट अकर्स बिकॉज ऑफ द वर्ड्स पूर्व एंड परम इज कॉल्ड उपपद विभक्ति ओके अस्तु आपणम गच्छा मह्यम मधुरम क्रीनातु एंड ऑल दिस एंड देन इन द लास्ट सेंटेंस पुत्र का रोदने न अलम अलम मींस इनफ इनफ ऑफ इट स्टॉप इन दैट सेंस ओके सो व्हेनेवर द वर्ड अलम इज यूज्ड इट इंस्टिगेट्स तृतीय विभक्ति सो रोदने न अलम ओके 
kolahalam means chaotic, making a lot of noise and all that. Uh, so enough of the noise. Stop the noise. Stop your argument in, in, in that. Okay? Devadarshanat param madhuram svikurmaha. So here param is causing Devadarshanat to be in Panchami Vibhakti. Devadarshanat param madhuram svikurmaha. Astu, gachamaha tavadarshanat. So all these you have learned as part of the rules of Vibhaktis, right? In uh, the first level, we have learned the rules of the Vibhaktis. I kept repeating uh, why it is very important to learn the Vibhakti rules, right? Because we will know when to use what Vibhakti. Um, so, so here it is being explained separately. There only in generalized way it is given. This Vibhakti is used uh, in such uh, cases. But here in those cases, only one case is because of the Karaka relation. All the other cases is because of the Upapada. Okay, is because of upapada. Like for karma karaka, because the word has a karma karaka relation with the kriyapadam, it is uh, getting dvitya vibhakti. Similarly, karana karakam, because it is used as an instrument, only that is uh, only one reason why trutiya vibhakti is being used. But there are other cases where trutiya vibhakti is used, and all those other cases are because of the upapadam. Okay, because of the words that are near. The word which is in Trutiya Vibhakti. Now, moving on to the next page, let us see here. Uh, the, a note is given. Gita Sopanasya Pradama Prathama Bhage Vayam Saha Vina Purataha Ityeta Drishanam Padanam Prayogam Nyatavantaha. So, we all have learned the usage of the words Saha Vina Purataha and so on. Tesham prayoge ka vibhakti hi bhavati ityapignyatavantaha. We all know that with which word which vibhakti comes, with saha trutiya vibhakti comes, with vina dvitiya or trutiya comes, with purataha uh, dvitiya vibhakti comes. Like this we know. Asmin pathe annesham keshanchit padanam prayogam jani maha. Now here we will learn some additional cases where uh, and words which instigate certain vibhaktis. Now, prati. Okay. Uh, so, the word prati. Sanjayaha dhritarashtram prati avadat. Arjunaha kaurava senam prati sanketam kritavan. Chatraha gurum prati prishtavan. Okay. So, here prati is like, uh, is like uh, in the opposite way. So, Sanjayaha Dhritarashtram Prati Avadat. Prati Avadat means it indicates that he is answering. Means Dhritarashtra has already spoken to Sanjaya and Sanjaya is replying. That is when you can use Prati. If Sanjaya is the one who is starting the conversation, then you cannot use Prati. Okay? Only when we are talking in response to what the other person has said, then Prati we can use. Similarly, Arjunaha Kaurava Senam Prati Sanketam Kritavan means first the Kaurava Sena has done Sanketam and then Arjuna is, uh, is uh, what do you say, responding to that uh, Sanketa. Okay? Prati Sanketam Kritavan. Uh, Kaurava Senam. Okay? Chatraha Gurum Prati Prishtavan. So first Guru asked the student. But then the student again asked, if you all remember that small story in the Pravesha book, Guru Hu Shishyam Prichati, uh, Devaha Kutra Asti. And then the Shishya says, Devaha Kutra Nasti. So, Prati Prichati. Okay? Atra Shishyaha Gurum Prati Prichati. So, he again asked back. So, in that sense, Prati is used. And whenever Prati is used, whom with respect to whom it is used uh, or with what it is used, that word should be in Dvitiya Vibhakti. Prati. Iti Padasya Yoge Dvitiya Vibhakti Bhavati. Okay? And then Dhik. So Dhik is a tricky word. It is more like uh, Chitkar. Like, uh, uh, you, you know, like uh, when, um, when something is not pleasant or when somebody's actions are not good. 
uh, or are uh, very irritating or whatever like duryodhana say for example dhik duryodhana dhik duryodhanam this also will be in dvitiya vibhakti okay so to indicate the uh, what is the word for that to indicate our uh, reluctance or contempt uh, contempt huh? ah contempt correct uh, to correct to to indicate our contempt against something against a person or an action or a thing whatever it is we can uh, uh, that is when we use dhik and with the dhik also dvitiya vibhakti only comes so dhik tvam okay here tvam is just you that whoever that person is okay dhik tvam dhik kauravan dhik papinam okay papinah and in dvitiya vibhakti it will become papinam dhik iti padasya yoge dvitiya vibhakti hi bhavati okay for this word also dvitiya vibhakti happens and then alam alam vishadena alam uh, kudrishtya alam karpanyena okay vishadam means sadness uh, kudrishtya means uh, uh, kudrishti actually it is uh, kudrishti kudrishti actually uh, it is uh, like uh, uh, evil eye okay and then uh, karpanyena is like uh, either pity or poverty or weakness you can take uh, depending on the context it can mean any of these so alam means enough of it okay or stop okay when somebody is lamenting over something days together okay yes i agree that you had some problem some tragedy but enough of it enough of this vishada right so alam vishadena alam kudrishtya now um, uh, you know the that evil eye or the bad uh, way that uh, negativity for example so when you come across somebody who is always talking negative uh, negatively about uh, everything all the time won't you get tired of it so then you can say alam kudrishtya okay enough of this negativity enough of this evil eye or whatever however you see it alam karpanyena again some people show a lot of uh, self pity oh we don't have this we don't have that i am weak i am i can't do this i can't do that we get tired of that also after some time listening to that right so alam karpanyena enough of it stop it in that sense and then alam can also be used in the sense of paryaptyarthe means uh, is uh, enough in the sense of enough only but the meaning is a little different like say for example bhimaha duryodhanaya alam means bhima is enough to finish off duryodhana okay bhima is enough to finish off duryodhana paryaptyartham okay paryaptam means to close in that sense also alam can be used but if it is used in that sense then the uh, word which is with, with which alam is used will be in chaturthi vibhakti it will not be in trutiya vibhakti it will be in chaturthi vibhakti so bhimaha duryodhanaya alam so bhima is enough to finish off duryodhana in that sense it is used bhimaha duryodhanasya nigrahena samartaha iti arthaha okay so basically he is capable of withstanding duryodhana that is how it uh, means okay excuse me bagini can you can excuse me ha uh, can you say this this comes only when we compare the ha uh, uh, in paryapti artham it is not comparison when you are saying that this is capable of doing certain thing ha uh. uh, we are not comparing them here it is not exactly okay. comparison but uh, in uh, paryapti artham means it is enough to withstand this that is when we use that okay okay when you are comparing you have to say whether it they are equal or one is more than the other and all that but here you are simply saying bhima is enough to withstand duryodhana सो हियर अलम पर्याप्तर्थे अयुज्यते तत्र तो चतुर्थी विभक्ति 
So in that sense, only Chaturthi Vibhakti Prayogam should be used. Anantaram, Sadrisha. Sadrisha means like, like, uh, like mother, like daughter, like that, in that like. Okay, not, uh, not liking like, but uh, similarity like. Maya Sadrishaha Anyaha Kaha Asti. Who else is there like me? So this is the heading, if you have noticed. Maya Sadrishaha Kaha Anyaha Asti. Uh, that is the heading of this lesson. Okay, the same sentence he has given here in Anvaya order. So like me, who else is there? Okay, which other person is there like me? So, with the word sadrishaha, trutiyavi bhakti is used. So, maya sadrishaha. Draupadya sadrishi mahila virala. So, in the earlier sentence, sadrishaha, which indicates pumlinga. Okay. So, this, is, this sentence is spoken by a masculine person, by a male. Maya sadrishaha anyaha kaha asti. Who else is there like me? In the second sentence, it is used in Strilinga, Sadrishi. Draupadya Sadrishi Mahila Virala. La ladies like Draupadi are very rare. Okay, Virala. Kurukshetram Narakena Sadrisham Jatam. Sadrisham. Here it is used in Napumsaka. Why? Because the word with which it is being used is in is Napumsaka Linga Shabdam, like Narakam. It is Napumsaka. So Sadrisham. Draupadi. Uh, Strilinga. So, Sadrishi, Strilinga. Maya Sadrishaha. Here, Maya by itself will not tell whether it is masculine or feminine. But, Anyaha Kaha Asti. So, who else is there like me? From that, we can take that Maya is indicating a Pumlinga person. So, Kurukshetram Narakena Sadrisham Jatam. So, Kurukshetra has become like Narakam. Jnanavan api swasyaha prakritehe sadrisham cheshtate. Uh, so this is um, sadrisham again. Jnanavan api swasyaha prakritehe sadrisham cheshtate. So he, though, though being a jnanavan means being an enlightened person, swasyaha prakritehe sadrisham cheshtate. They act as per their. Uh, Swabhava. That is what uh, it says. Okay. Prakrite uh, his sadrisham cheshtate. Tulya artha kasya sadrisha sabdasya yoge trutiya vibhakti bhavati. Tulya artha kasya. Tulya artha means tulya means same. Okay. So in that meaning, in the meaning of same, uh, sadrisha. Uh, shabdam is used and when Sadrisha Shabdam is used in Tulyartha, Trutiya Vibhakti Bhavati. Okay. Shashti Vibhakti hi api Bhavati. Kalidasasya Sadrishaha Kavihi Anyaha Nasti. Kalidasasya Sadrishaha Kavihi Anyaha Nasti. It is like how Vina can be used with Dvitiya Vibhakti, Trutiya Vibhakti and Panchami Vibhakti. Similarly here, Sadrishaha, when it comes, normally Trutiya Vibhakti will be used, but Shashti Vibhakti usage is also there. Okay. Kalidasena Sadrishaha, we can say. Or Kalidasasya Sadrishaha. Kavihi Anyaha Kaha Asti or Anyaha Nasti. And then Rite. Samskritat rite gita yaha moolartaha na gnyayate. Rite. So this word means without. Okay. Without. So samskritat rite. Without samskritam. Gita yaha moolartaha na gnyayate. Nobody can understand the moolartha of Gita. So rite. This word will instigate panchami vibhakti. So samskritat rite. Without Samskritam, without the language Samskritam, Gita Yaha Moolartaha na Gnayate. Krishna Rite Pandavanam Vijayaha Asadhyaha. Without Krishna, Pandavas uh, victory would have been impossible. Pandavas victory would have been impossible. Krishna Rite, without Krishna. Dharma Rite Dharma Rajaha na Jeevati. Without Dharma, Dharmaraja is not there. Okay. So, Rite. Iti Padasya Yoge Panchami Vibhakti Bhavati. 
विना इत्यस्य यह अर्थः सह एव अर्थः रिते इत्यस्यापि सो विदाउट विना इज आल्सो लाइक विदाउट राइट राम रामेन विना सीता वनम न गच्छति विदाउट राम सीता डज नॉट गो टू द फॉरेस्ट लाइक दैट रिते आल्सो हैज द सेम मीनिंग एज विना बट विथ रिते वी यूज पंचमी विभक्ति विथ विना वी यूज द्वितीया तृतीया एंड पंचमी विभक्ति so the next word is vina gnanam vina jeevanam kashtakaram without knowledge um you know life will be very difficult gnanena vina jeevanam kashtakaram so here gnanena is used in trutiya in the earlier sentence it is used in dvitiya gnanat vina jeevanam kashtakaram here gnanat gnana is used in panchami vibhakti vina इति पदस्य योगे द्वितीया तृतीया विभक्ति भवतः इति जानीमः ओके सो यू नो ऑलरेडी फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट लेवल दैट विथ विना वी यूज इदर द्वितीया विभक्ति और तृतीया विभक्ति तस्य योगे पञ्चमी विभक्तिः अपि भवति इति विशेषः सो हियर द स्पेशल मेंशन इज दैट विथ विना इवन पञ्चमी विभक्ति कैन बी यूज्ड पूर्व पर बुद्धे पर परमात्मा ओके बुद्धे पर पर मीन आफ्टर वर्ड्स परमात्मा युद्धात् पूर्व कृष्ण संधि निमित्त गच्छति बिफोर द वॉर कृष्ण वेंट टू मेक संधि युद्धात् परम दुखम भवति ओके आफ्टर युद्ध देर विल बी दुखम संख्या योगा पूर्व अर्जुन विषाद योग बिफोर सांख्य सॉरी सांख्य योग देर इज अर्जुन विषाद योग ध्याना परम शांति प्राप्य ओके गीता गीतोपदेशा परम अर्जुन युद्धा उत्सहते सो आफ्टर गीतोपदेश हेज हैपेंड देन अर्जुन अगेन गॉट रेडी टू फैट विश्वदर्शना पूर्व अर्जुन दिदृक्षु आसी विश्वदर्शना परम अर्जुन भीत ओके सो बिफोर द विश्वदर्शन हि वाज ब्लेस्ड विथ दिव्य चक्षु आफ्टर विश्वदर्शन हि गॉट अफ्रेड बै लुकिंग एट सच विश्व सो पूर्व परम now like i said they will take either pumlinga napumsaka uh, depending on the word with which they are used buddhehe paraha buddhihi it is ikaranta pumlinga shabdaha so paraha uh, yuddhat purvam yuddham is uh, napumsaka so purvam is used in napumsaka uh, yuddhat param here param also is used in napumsaka uh, sankhya yogat purvam yogam here uh, it is taken as napumsaka it can also be taken as pumlinga yoga can be taken as pumlinga also dhyanat param dhyanam again is a napumsaka geeta geetopadeshat param geetopadesham right so param uh, vishwarupa darshanam so purvam again napumsaka shabdas so whenever we use purva and para पंचमी विभक्ति ओके एंड दिस इज यूज्ड बिफोर एंड आफ्टर वी आल्सो हैव दिस राइट रामात् परह लक्ष्मण लक्ष्मणात् पूर्व राम वी यूज यू ऑल आर फेमिलियर विद दैट यूसेज फ्रॉम फ्रॉम अवर प्रीवियस लेवल ओके सो नाउ लेट अस लुक एट द अभ्यास हियर वी आर गिवन सम वर्ड्स and depending on the word we have to use um the vibhakti so vairagyam yathodaharanam koshtakastaihi shabdaihi vakyani rachayata so rajani abhyasa pustake aacharyasya upadesham likhati tasyaha sahayam kuruta aacharyah uktavan yat alam krodhena so here we have some words um i think the exercise is about using alam okay so vairagyam is there kamaha is there dvandvam 
ಸಂಶಯ ಅಧರ್ಮ ಮೋಹ ಅಶಾಂತಿ ಯುದ್ಧ ಅಶ್ರದ್ಧ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ನಿದ್ರಾ ಪ್ರಮಾದ ಕ್ರೋಧ ದುಃಖ ಭೀತಿ ಆಲಸ್ಯ ಈರ್ಷ್ಯ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ಅಲಮ್ ಇನಫ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಕ್ರೋ ಫಾರ್ ಕ್ರೋಧ ಅಲಂ ಕ್ರೋಧೇನ ಸೊ ವಿತ್ ಅಲಂ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ತೃತೀಯ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಅನ್ಲೆಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ನೋ ದಟ್ ಕೇಪಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ತೃತೀಯ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಕೀಪ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಈಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಒನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಅ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಭಾವನಾ ಭಗಿನಿ ಅನಂತರಂ ಇಂದ್ರಾ ಭಗಿನಿ ಕಾಮ ಪ್ರಮೀಳಾ ಭಗಿನಿ ದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಸಂಶಯ ಮಹೋದಯ ಅಧರ್ಮಗ ಇದು ಅಸ್ತಿ ಅಕಾರ್ಯಾಂತ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ಶಬ್ದ ರಾಮಗ ರಾಮೇನ ಅಧರ್ಮಗ ಅಧರ್ಮೇನ ಅಲಂ ಅಧರ್ಮೇನ ಅನಂತರಂ ಜಯಪ್ರದ ಗಾರು ಸಂಶಯ ಅಲಂ ಸಂಶಯ ಉತ್ತಮ ಅನಂತರಂ ಮೋಹ ಸೀತಾ ಭಗಿನಿ ಅಲಂ ಮೋಹೇನ ಅನಂತರಂ ಸುಚಿತ್ರ ಭಗಿನಿ ಅಲಂ ಸಾರಿ ಅಶಾಂತಿ ಅಲಂ ಅಶಾಂತ್ಯ 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 ಅಲಂ ಅಶಾಂತ್ಯ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಕಾರಾಂತ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಲಿಂಗ ಶಬ್ದ ಲೈಕ್ ಮತಿ ಶಬ್ದ ಸೊ ಅಶಾಂತ್ಯ ಉತ್ತಮ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಭಾವನಾ ಭಗಿನಿ ಯುದ್ಧ ಅಲಂ ಯುದ್ಧೇನ ಅಶ್ರದ್ಧ ಇಂದ್ರಾ ಭಗಿನಿ ಅಲಂ ಅಶ್ರದ್ಧೆಯ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರಮೀಳಾ ಭಗಿನಿ ಅಲಂ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಉತ್ತಮ ಅನಂತರಂ ಮಹೋದಯ ನಿದ್ರಾ ನಿದ್ರಾ ನಿದ್ರಯ ಹ್ಮ್ ನಿದ್ರಯ ಅನಂತರಂ ಜಯಪ್ರದ ಭಗಿನಿ ಪ್ರಮಾದ ಅಲಂ ಪ್ರಮಾದೇನ ಅನಂತರಂ ಕ್ರೋಧ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದುಃಖ ಸೀತಾ ಭಗಿನಿ ಅಲಂ ದುಃಖೇನ ಅನಂತರಂ ಸುಚಿತ್ರ ಭಗಿನಿ ಭೀತಿ ಅಲಂ ಭೀತಿಯ ಸೊ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಕಾರಾಂತ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಲಿಂಗ ಶಬ್ದ ಆಲಸ್ಯ ಪುನಃ ಭಾವನಾ ಭಗಿನಿ ಆಲಸ್ಯನ ಅಲಂ ಆಲಸ್ಯನ ಅನಂತರಂ ಈರ್ಷ್ಯ ಇಂದ್ರಾ ಭಗಿನಿ ಈರ್ಷಯ ಅಲಂ ಈರ್ಷಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇನಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಜಲಸಿ ಇನಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಅನಂತರಂ ಪ್ರಮೀಳಾ ಭಗಿನಿ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಅಲಂ ಅಹಂಕಾರೇನ ಉತ್ತಮ ಉತ್ತಮ ಅನಂತರಂ ಪೇಜ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪ್ರಮಾದ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಡೇಂಜರ್ ಅನಂತರಂ ಯಥೋದಾಹರಣ ವಾಕ್ಯಾನಿ ರಚಯತ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಿಡಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಿಗರ್ ರಿತೆ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಮ್ ಫ್ರೇಸಸ್ ಸೊ ತ್ಯಾಗ ಸುಖಂ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಲುಕ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಿಗರ್ ತ್ಯಾಗ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸುಖಂ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ತ್ಯಾಗಾತ್ ರಿತೆ ಸುಖಂ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ವಿತೌಟ್ ತ್ಯಾಗ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫೈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಕೆನ್ ನೆವರ್ ಬಿ ಸುಖಂ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಿತೌಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ 
Okay. So let us frame these sentences. Anantaram uh, Mahodaya Bhasha Gnanam Grantha Dhyayanam. Uh, Bhasha Vyasa Gnana Art Rute Grantha Dhyayanam Nasti. Hmm. Bhasha Gnana Rute Grantha Dhyayanam Nasti. Without Bhasha Gnanam, we cannot do Grantha Dhyayanam. Okay, Uttama. Anantaram um, Jepradgaru Abhyasaha Mano Niantranam. Jepradgaru Nara Nanandi Abhyasa Abhyasa. Abhyasa Abhyasat Rite Mano Niantranam Na Asajaha Mano Niantranam Nasti or Na Sathya Na Asathya. So here without practice, it is impossible to control the mind without practice. So controlling the mind will not happen just like that. It needs a lot of abhyasa. So abhyasat rite mano niyantranam na bhavati, we can say. Okay. It won't happen. Okay. Anantaram. Uh, Sita Bhagini dhyayam sukha jeevan. Dhyayat rite sukha jeevanam na bhavati. Dhyayat rite sukha jeevanam na bhavati. Anantaram Prayatnaha Jayaha uh, uh, Suchitra Bhagini Prayat, Prayatnath uh, Rute uh, jaya, Jayam Jayaha Jeevan. Ah, sorry, Jayaha Jayaha Nasti hmm. Prayatnath Rute Jayaha Nasti hmm. Astu Anantaram Krishnaha Pandavanam Jayaha Punaha Bhavana Bhagini Krushnath Rute Pandavanam Jayam Nasti Uttamam Krishnath Rute Pandavanam Jayaha Nasti or Na Bhavati. It will not happen. Anantaram uh, Indra Bhagini Adharaha Bhavanam Adhara Rute Bhavanam Nasti. Adharat rite bhavanam nasti. Adharaha here is like foundation. Without the foundation, there is no bhavanam. Oh, Ekagrata no. lakshya praptihi. Uh, Mahodaya? Amji. Ekagrat rute lakshya praptihi nasti. Agrata akaranta sri linga shabdaha. Agrata ya. So it is a Srilinga Shabda Mahodaya, Eka Grata. Am Diam Samyatam. Eka Grata Yaha Rute Lakshya Prapti Nasti. Uttama Uttama. Anantaram Jepradha Bhagini Parjanyaha Dhyanam. Parjanyat Rite Jhanam Na Lavate. One second. Dhanyam, Dhanyam Narati. Hmm? Dhyanam. Oh, Dhanyam. Dhanyam Nalapati. Hmm. So, Parjanyaha means? Rain. Huh? Rain or cloud? Ah, correct, correct. Rains. Okay. Rain. Rain. So, without rains, there is no crop. Anantaram uh, Sita Bhagini. Prayatnaha Karya Siddhi. Prayatna Trate Karya Siddhi Na Bhavati. Suchitra Bhagini Dharmaha Dharma Rajaha. Dharma Trate Dharma Rajaha. Dharma Rajaha. Nasti. No, Nasti. Anantaram Punaha Bhavana Bhagini. 
ओ प्रमीला भगिनी वदतु कृष्णः गोपिका कृष्णा कृते गोपिकाः नाम मोदते हम्म कृष्णा कृते गोपिका न मोदते मोदते हम्म ईश्वरानुग्रहः कार्य सिद्धिः भावना भगिनी संस्कृत न संस्कृते संस्कृत नक्ति ज्ञान प्रमीला भगनी ज्ञान न उत्तम सो विदउट भक्ति ज्ञान डज नाट हापन उत्तम अन उदाहरण दृष्टा कोष्टकस्त पद कस्मा पूर्व पर लिखत युधिष्ठि भीम अर्जुन नकु सरहदेव सो वी गो इन दट ऑर्डर सो यू कैन स्टार्ट ऑफ युधिष्ठि भीमा अर्जुन अर्जुन उत्तम अन सीता अनंतर सुचित्रा भगनी यस मैम इट नीड नॉट बी इन द सेम ऑर्डर यू कैन पिक रैंडमली एंड से Sorry, ma'am. Uh, I you can say it. you can say randomly, like Yudhishthira and Sahadeva. Okay. Also, you can compare. Okay, uh, Yudhishthira ha, uh, uh, Sahadeva ha, Purva ha. Sahadevat. Sahadevat. Sorry, Sahadevat Purva ha. Hmm. Uh, Sahadeva ha. Yudhishthira uh, para ha. Yudhishthira para ha. Uttam. Uttam. Like that, you can do any. um you know order in any order bhimah sahadevat purvah arjunah bhimat parah yudhishthirat parah and so on like that however we we can we can do anantaram page number 6 etasya sahayena yathodaharanam vakyani rachayata dik here we are using the word dik dik duryodhanam okay and here we are given some words duryodhana shakunihi dushyasana kichaka kauravah so punah bhavana bhagini ambat ambat hmm um dik saku sakun dik sakunim hmm dik sakunim ओके द्वितीया विभक्ति वी हैव टू यूज धिक शकुनिम अनंतरम इंद्रा भगिनी 
उत्तम अनंतर प्रमीला भगिनी अनंतर महोदय आम अत्र कौरवाग भगवती अस्थित कार्य दिख कौरवान् दिख कौरवान् बहुवचन अतः कौरवान् उत्तम अनंतर सदृश शब्द से प्रयोगेन वाक्या वदत सो वेन सदृश कम्स वाट इज द विभक्ति वि डिस्कस्ड वाट विभक्ति वि कम वित् सदृश तृतीय विभक्ति विलकम सो कृष्ण कृष्ण एंड वी हेव अ लिस्ट ऑफ वर्ड्स लेट अस सी कृष्ण युधिष्ठि भीष्म कर्ण गीतामृत विश्व आशा तृप्ति अर्जुन ज्ञानी धर्मिष्ट दृढ़ प्रतिज्ञ दाता तत्व दृश्य पाश संपत् एंड धनुर्धर सो कृष्ण कर्मिष्ट सो वित् सदृश यू हेव टू यूज कृष्ण सदृश धर्मिष्ट बेटर वर्ड या so i think uh, i think we don't have to really match they are given in the same order krishna is a gnani yudhishthira ah, is a dharmishtha ah, ah, dharmishtha ah, 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 bhima bhishma ah, is a dridha pratigna ah, ah, so we need not mix and match we can directly uh, use the word that is across it hmm. so bhavana bagini punaha vadatu krishna ah. gnani krishnena sadrushah gnani hmm krishnena sadrushah gnani अनतर सीता भगनी करेक्ट युधिष्ठि सदृश धर्मिष्ट कर्लियर सेंटे आलो भगनी यू हेव टू से कृष्ण सदृश ज्ञानी कू इज ऐस नॉलेजबल ऐस कृष्ण हू इज ऐस धर्मपाल ऐस युधिष्ठि एंड सो ऑन अनंतर सुचित्र भगिनी भीष्म दृढ़ प्रतिज्ञ भीष्मेन सदृश दृढ़ प्रतिज्ञ कह अस्ति उत्तम अनंतर इंद्रा भगिनी कर्ण दाता कर्णेन सदृश दाता दाता कह अस्ति हम्म कर्णेन सदृश दाता कह who is as uh, generous as uh, karna geetamritam tatvam uh, mahodaya ah, madam eva ah, pramila bagini vadatu vadatu geetamrutena sadrush sadrushah sadrushah tatvam kim hmm geetamrutena sadrushah sadrusham tatvam sadrushah दृश्यमस्ती कि आशया 
వినిపిస్తుందా బాని ఇప్పుడు వచ్చింది మళ్ళీ ఎక్కడికో వెళ్ళింది ఆకారాంత స్త్రీలింగ శబ్ద ఆశా ఆకారాంత స్త్రీలింగ శబ్ద సో ఆశయా సదృశ పాశ కృతి ఆశయా సో ఆశా ఇస్ ద వన్ వి హ్యావ్ టు కీప్ ఇట్ ఇన్ కీప్ ఇట్ ఇన్ తృతీయ విభక్తి లైక్ ఆశా వాట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ పాషా ఇస్ దేర్ that is what uh, the question is asha ashaya sadrishah paashah kah sita what do you mean by paashah sita sita yag tritiya vibhakti agachadi asha sitaya mahodaya mahodaya sitaya సీతయా ఖలు తృతీయ విభక్తి సీతాయా ఇస్ ఈదర్ పంచమి ఆర్ షష్ఠి ఆశయా ఆశయా కిమర్థం సీతా శబ్దం సీతయా ఖలు ఆకారాంత ఆకారాంత స్త్రీలింగే సీత కిం భవిష్యతి తృతీయ విభక్త సో పాషా మీన్స్ పాషా మీన్స్ బైండింగ్ బైండింగ్ దట్ బైండింగ్ విత్ డిజైర్ ఆశా ఇస్ డిజైర్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దట్ ఆశా వన్ గెట్స్ బైండ్ సో వీ కెన్ యూజ్ ఇన్ దట్ ఆర్ విల్ బికమ్ యా బైండింగ్ ఓన్లీ దట్ ఈస్ ద మీనింగ్ హియర్ అనంతరం తృప్తి కిం భగిని ఓకే తృప్తి సంపత్ తృప్తి అండ్ సంపత్ నెక్స్ట్ హూ హూ స్పోక్ లాస్ట్ మహోదయ స్పోక్ సో జయప్రద గారు మీరు చెప్తారా తృప్తి సంపత్ తృప్తి 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 పుంగ శబ్దం అనుకుంటా సో యూ హ్యావ్ టు యూస్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఇకారాంత పుంగ శబ్ద ఇకారాంత పుంగ శబ్ద సో ఇట్ ఈస్ దేర్ ఇన్ స్త్రీలింగ ఆల్సో యాక్చువల్లీ ఇట్ ఈస్ దేర్ ఇన్ స్త్రీలింగ ఆల్సో సో యూ కెన్ సే తృప్తి ఆల్సో తృప్తి ఆల్సో ఇస్ టెక్నికల్లీ కరెక్ట్ ఓకే బట్ సంపత్ ఇస్ స్త్రీలింగ సో యూ కెన్ టేక్ తృప్తి ఆల్సో ఇస్ యా స్త్రీలింగ సో తృప్తి సదృశ సంపత్ కా బికాస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ స్త్రీలింగ యూ కెన్ యూజ్ కా ఓకే ఇప్పుడు పుల్లింగం అయితే ఏం చెప్పాలండి కహానే చెప్పాలి తృప్తి తృప్తి అనకూడదు కదా ఇప్పుడు అనొచ్చు ఎందుకంటే తృప్తిను సంపత్ రెండు ఒకే లింగంలో ఉండాలని లేదు సో మీరు కహా యూ మ్యాచ్ ఇట్ విత్ ద రైట్ హ్యాండ్ సైడ్ వర్డ్స్ కహా ఆర్ కా ఆర్ కిమ్ వెర్ ఆస్ సదృశ శబ్ద యూ మ్యాచ్ ఇట్ విత్ ద లెఫ్ట్ హ్యాండ్ సైడ్ కాలమ్ ఇఫ్ ద లెఫ్ట్ హ్యాండ్ సైడ్ కాలమ్ ఇస్ పుంగ్లింగ యూజ్ సదృశ స్త్రీలింగ సదృశి ఆర్ సదృశం 
अनंतरम सीता भगिनी अर्जुन अर्जुन सह अर्जुन सदृश धनुर्धर कह अर्जुन सदृश धनुर्धर कह उत्तम अनतर कोष्टकस्थम शब्द चिंता तस्य उचितेन रूपेण रिक्तस्थान पूरयत सो हियर वी हैव टू फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स विद द वर्ड्स इन द बॉक्स वी हैव प्रति धिक अलम सदृशः रिते विना पूर्वः परम एषः सौंदर्ये मन्मथेन भावना भगिनी सौंदर्य मन्मथेन सदृश मन्मथेन सदृश अन इंद्रा भगिनी दुखात् दुखात् परम सुखम भवति दुखात् परम सुखम भवति अनंतरम प्रमीला भगिनी नेत्राभ्याम डैश दर्शन न भवति नेत्राभ्याम विना दर्शन न भवति हम्म नेत्राभ्याम विना दर्शन न भवति अनंतरम महोदय कृष्ण अर्जुन डैश अवदत् कृष्ण अर्जुन प्रति अवदत् उत्तम अनंतर सीता भगिनी विस्तरेण अलम विस्तरेण अलम विस्तरेण दिख दुर्योधन दिख दुर्योधन अनंतर अगेन पुनः भावना भगिनी श्रुते स्वर्ग परा जन्म कर्म जन्म स्वर्गपरा जन्म कर्म फल प्रदाम प्रधान क्रिया विशेष बहुला भोगश्वर्य गति प्रति सो दिस इज द श्लोक सो वी आर सिंपली आस्क टू अब्सर्व दिस फॉर एनी उपपद विभक्ति फॉर एनी उपपद विभक्ति सो वॉट डू यू सी हियर एनी उपपद विभक्ति डू यू सी प्रति प्रति सो भोगश्वर्य गति प्रति ओके so here gatim is in dvitiya vibhakti because of prati
गतिम गतिम प्रति एंड देन इन द नेक्स्ट श्लोक न हि ज्ञान सदृश पवित्रमिह विद्य तत्स्वयं योग संसिद्धः उपपद विभक्ति दट इज दिन सदृश पवित्र so there is nothing as pure as the uh, gnana that is what um, so gnanena sadrsham pavitram uh, iha na vidyate kimapi na vidyate nothing else is there on this world in this world as pure as uh, the knowledge hmm. anantaram um adhyo bhi janavan asmi सदृशो मया दास्यामि मोदिष्य इत्यज्ञान विमोहिता सदृश मया दट इज दिंग उपपद विभक्ति दट इज द उपपद विभक्ति दट वी हेव दे सो सदृश मया मीन so here adhyah is wealthy so here in that line the first word you have seen adhyah abhijanavan asmi abhijanavan asmi uh, abhijnana actually it is abhijana is given here abhijanavan asmi uh, abhijanavan asmi okay i am uh, ante who uh, who else is there who is like me means wealthy and um and uh, surrounded by good people or or wealthy people who uh, who else is there like me who is wealthy and who is also surrounded by wealthy and powerful people okay so they think basically this is about people who think that the wealth that they have is enough so they don't uh, work for, for uh, attaining uh, gnanam anyways so these are the three shlokas uh, that have uh, upapada vibhaktis so now you will know whenever you see some word in some vibhakti and if uh, there is uh, there are these keywords nearby you will know that the vibhakti is being caused by these words and they are not uh, if it is in dvitiya vibhakti it need not always be in um be a karma padam of the sentence if a word is in trutiya vibhakti it need not always be an instrument which is uh, which is acting as an instrument for that kriya to be done if a word is in panchami vibhakti it does not always indicate separation okay those are all uh, uh, vibhaktis are used in such a senses only when uh, for those karma relations that they have with the kriya padam so we have to watch out for such words which are causing this vibhakti so if vina is there and dvitiya vibhakti is there we know that uh, the dvitiya vibhakti is because of vina and it need not be the karma padam of the sentence so many times people uh, you know they get confused with that only because we learn that dvitiya vibhakti karma padam uh, of a kartari prayoga vakya is always in dvitiya vibhakti so whenever they see a word in dvitiya vibhakti they mark it as karma karma of that sentence but not always 
it will uh, not necessarily be karma if there are other such words which are uh, making the dvitiya vibhakti to happen then we have to watch out for that okay um, even with uh, in karmani prayoga you have uh, uh, kartrapadam in trutiya vibhakti i have seen people marking that as karanam also so uh, so such mistakes will happen if we are not clear on the rules of the vibhaktis when we are using what vibhakti why we are using that vibhakti there that clarity the more and more you get the more and more easy it becomes for us to analyze the shlokas okay okay anantaram okay next lesson lesson number 2 any questions so far ah yes yes me vahini um धन्यवाद अनंतरम सेकंड लेसन पेज नंबर एट आख्या मे को भवान ओके सो दिस आल्सो वन सेकंड वाणिगर आख्या अर्थम अंटे चपट आख्यान अंटे नार्मली टू टेल सो टेल मी हू यू आर् अट्ला ख्या धा ख्या धा विच मीन टू टेल आख्या सो टेल मी हू यू आर् अट्ला इट इज मध्यम पुरुष लोकलकार मध्यम पुरुष एक वचन So here today we will be learning halanta kumlinga shabda ha. Okay, halanta. Now in the first level we have learned ajanta, ach ante astichet ajanta shabda ha. Hal ante astichet halanta. Okay, ach means uh, swaras vowels. Telugu lo achulu antam. Same. It is the same. In Sanskritam also it is ach. अच्छ अंत अस्ति चेत अजंता इट इज कॉल्ड अजंता अ वर्ड विच हैज अ वोवेल एट द एंड इज कॉल्ड अजंता अ वर्ड विच हैज अ कॉन्सोनेंट एट द एंड इज कॉल्ड हलंता नाउ सो फार द शब्दस दैट वी लर्नड रामः सीता गौरी वनम वनम दो इट अपीयर्स लाइक हलंता शब्द बिकॉज़ ऑफ द मकारा द एक्चुअल शब्द द प्रातिपदिकम इज वन मींस अकारांता हरी गुरु पित्र पितृशब्द मातृ मति दधि इन द नपुंसकिंग शब्द आलो वस्तु ऑल दीज आर् अजंत शब्द वी हेव लर्न सो फार अजंत शब्द बट दे आलो हेव हलंत शब्द वर्ड्स विच एंड इन कॉन्सोनेट सो देर् विभक्ति आलो वी हेव टू लर्न दे विल नाट हेव द सेम विभक्ति फॉर्म्स एज अजंत नव इन अजंत अकारांत राम शब्द राम राम रामम राम राम एंड सो ऑन हियर द पुमलिंग शब्द विच एंड इन डिफरेंट कॉन्सोनेट्स विल बी विल हेव अ लिटिल डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स सो वी हेव टू लर्न दोज फॉर्म्स आलो ओके दिस विल बी अ लिटिल कंफ्यूजिंग इनिशियली बट स्लोली लाइक विथ एव्रीथिंग एल्स विथ अ लिटिल प्राक्टिस यू विल गेट कंफर्टबल बट इनिशियली इट कैन Uh, feel a little confusing okay don't let that uh, dampen your uh, enthusiasm okay excuse me bahini yes akya hi iti parasmai pati va aapane pati ah it is parasmai pati only it is parasmai pati only in vartamana kala it will become akhyati uh, Will become akhyati. In uh, in lot lakara, it is akhyahi. Akhyahi. Adi mukhya. Pratham. 
Actually, it is. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Akhya. Uh, this he is not part of the uh, Akhyahi. Correct. Akhyahi is Madhyama Purusha Ekavachana. Madhyama Purusha Ekavachana in Lot Lakara. Whereas in Lat Lakara, it will become Akhyasi. Akhyati, Akhyataha, Akhyanti, Akhyasi, Akhyataha, Akhyatha, Akhyami, Akhyavaha, Akhyamaha. This is Parasmai Padi Dhatu only. Yes. So the actual dhatu is kya dhatu, means khyati. Means khyati means like knowing, right? Well known. Uh, uh, A is uh, yeah. upasarga here. Hmm. Uh, and how does that uh, khyati come? Only when people are speaking more and more, that is when the khyati spreads. So khyati here is to uh, like uh, to tell or speak or such things. Uh, but it is used in the sense of fame also. Okay. Anantaram. Anantaram. Okay, let us look at this uh, Sambhashana. Sudhama. Shriman. Aham bhavataha shikshārthi bhavitum ichami. Harirama Tripathi. Astu Sudhaman. Kim adhyetum ichasi sudhama. Bhagavat gītam adhyetum ichami. Harirama tripati. Bhagavat gītā yaha eva adhyayanam kimartham sudhama. Yadhyapi aham ekatra adhikari aparatra samaja sevi api. Ataha aham gītā adhyayane asaktima nasmi. Uh, Hari Rama Tripati Yogina Krishnena Uptam Gitam Bhavan Itaha Purvam Adhitavanva Am Anye Kechena Etasmin Vishaye Utsahinaha Sahridaha Mama Parichitaha Santi Teshu Ekaha Anubhavashali Vanik Trayaha Kushalinaha Bhishajaha Anyecha Mama Sahodyoginaha Adhikarinaha uh, Eta Drishaha Shikshartinaha Nirantaram Kakshyam Agamishyantiva Am Nishayena Agamishyanti Yataha Mama Sarve Sahridaha Parishraminaha Utsahinaha Gitanu Raginaha Cha Mahan Santoshaha Jataha Bhavatam Sarvesham Gita Kakshyam Pratiswagatam Astu Mahodaya Punar Milava. Punar Milava. Okay. So here let us look at these uh, words which are given in bold letters. Okay. Uh, Shikshartha. It is like Vidyarthi. Okay. Vidyarthi is Pumlinga Shabda. Vidyarthini is a Strilinga Shabda. So Shikshartha is also like uh, that. And then Sudhaman. Here Sudhaman is used as a Sambodhana. Okay. Uh, whereas in Prathama Vibhakti, it will be Sudhama. But here, because it is uh, Sambodhana, Sudhaman. And then Adhikari. Okay, Yadhyapi Aham Ekatra Adhikari. Aparatra Samaja Sevi Api. Though I am uh, an Adhikari at one place, I am a Samaja Sevi at uh, the other place. Okay, that is why I would like to learn uh, Gita. Asaktiman Asmi. Asiktiman. And then Bhavan. Bhavan Shabdaha, uh, Bhavatta Shabdaha, you all are familiar with the word Bhavan, right? Uh, so that is also a Halanta Shabda. It is Bhavat Shabda. Takaranta Pumlinga Shabda. Uh, in Prathama Vibhakti Ekavachana, it will become Bhavan. Anantaram. Utsahinaha. Sah, uh, suhrudaha. Okay? Uh, this is in, uh, these words are in Bahuvachana. Utsahinaha. So, Hrudaha, Mama Parichitaha Santi. So, he is saying, uh, I have some friends uh, who are good and who are excited or who are uh, enthusiastic about this. Um, so, 
and he is describing them. Teshu ekaha anubhavashali vanik. So one of them is an experienced uh, business person. Trayaha kushalinaha bhishajaha. Um, so uh, three of them are uh, good uh, doctors. Anyecha mama sahodhyoginaha adhikarinaha. And uh, others are my colleagues. Okay, they are also officers, but my colleagues. Etadrishaha shikshartinaha nirantaram kakshyam agamishyantiva. So you are saying one is a big business person, three of them are doctors, and the others are your colleagues. Will they have time to come to the class? Am nischayena agamishyanti. Yataha, why? Because mama sarve suhrudaha parishraminaha utsahinaha gitanu raginaha cha. Yes, all of my friends will. Uh, definitely come. Why? Because they are very hardworking, they are very enthusiastic and they like Gita very much. Mahan Santoshaha Jataha. Bhavatam Sarvesham Gita Kakshyam Pratiswagatam. So I am very happy and uh, okay, they decide to meet. Asmin Pate Asmabihi Patitaha Shabdaha Etadrishaha Santi. Shikshartha Bhishak Vanik Adhikari Sudhama Anubhava Shali, Kushali, uh, Mahan, Samaja Sevi, Utsahi, Etesham, Pratipadikam, Varnakramahacha Evam Bhavati. So here the word is given, the words Pratipadikam is given, and then the Varnakrama is given. So for Rama, can anybody tell me the Varnakrama? Ramaha Shabda. Ra Ramaha. Huh? Ramaha, ye Rama, Ramam. No, 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 Bhagini, no. I am asking, I am asking the Varnakrama. I am Bhagini. Plus, plus, plus. One of you. Ma plus. So we have Reka, Reka, Akara, Makara, again Akara, and Visarga. Right? Hmm. That is the Prathama Vibhakti Ekavachana Rupa. For Shabda, it is Rama Shabda. So, uh, Refa, Akara, Makara, uh, and then Akara. That will be the uh, Pratipadika. Okay, the Varnakramam of the Pratipadika. So, in the Pratipadika, since the Pratipadika is ending in Akara, we call that Akaranta. Okay, now let us see for these Shabdas. Yogi is given. This is the Prathama Vibhakti Ekvachana Rupam. But the Pratipadikam is Yogin. Okay, Yogin. And if you do the Varnakrama of Yogin, Yakara, Okara, uh, Gakara, Ikara, Nakara. So Nakara, it is ending in Nakara. Nakara Anta Shabdaha. And then Karma. The Pratipadikam is Karman. So again Nakara Anta Shabda. Kakara, Akara, maka, uh, Rakara, Makara, Akara, Nakara. Vachaha is Vachas Shabdaha. Sakaranta Napumsakalinga Shabda, it is actually. Uh, and then Bhishak. Okay. Uh, the Pratipadikam is Bhishaj. So it is Jakaranta, not Kakaranta. It is Jakaranta. But the Prathamavi Bhakti Ekavachana Rupa will be Bhishak. Okay. And then Sukhrit. So it is actually Suhrid, Dakaranta Shabdaha. Uh, many times uh, the Dakaranta Shabda or Takaranta Shabda in Prathama Vibhakti Ekavachana, they will take uh, either Takara or Dakara. So you can say Suhrit or Suhrit. Uh, many times that happens. So uh, like Sampat and Sampad, both are allowed. Okay. Um, and then Vipaschitta. Vipaschitta. So here the Pratipadikam and Shabda are the same. Vipaschit is the Prathama Vibhakti Ekavachana. The Pratipadikam also is Vipaschit. And then we have Atma, Atman Shabda, Nakaranta Shabda. Then Twak. Twak means skin. Uh, the Shabda Pratipadikam is Twach. And then Vak. Vak also, uh, the Pratipadikam is Vach. So Chakaranta Shabda. But the Prathama Vibhakti Ekavachana Rupam is um, Vak. And then Vartma is Vartman, Nakaranta Shabda. Nakaranta Shabda in Prathama Ekavachana, it will become Vartma. 
okay one second okay so then here we have the prathama vibhakti forms of several um, halanta shabdas halanta shabdanam bahuvachana roopam drishtva api uh, prati uh, pratipadikasya anta nirdharanam kartum shaknumaha so if you know the bahuvachana roopam of halanta shabda bahuvachana roopam of halanta shabda in prathama vibhakti then you will know the pratipadikam he is saying okay so there is a, a, a similarity there so even if you forget which anta it is if you know the bahuvachana roopa automatically you will be able to figure out the uh, shabda so for yogin if we take yogi yoginau yoginaha this is a nakaranta shabda so bahuvachana is also ending in uh, of course there is a nakara after nakara but still that na is there so yogin shabda vachas vachaha vachasi vachansi this is napumsakalinga sakaranta napumsakalinga shabda uh, suhrid suhrid suhridau suhridaha this is dakaranta pumlinga shabda vach vak vachau vachaha this is chakaranta ah this is uh, strilinga shabda ha vak strilinga ah uh, yes and then bhishaj bhishak bhishajau bhishajaha jakaranta and then mahan uh, that is pumlinga only mahan also pumlinga it is uh, um takaranta shabda he is saying so actually it has to be mahat i don't know why he gave it as mahan here in pratipadikam it should be mahat ah atra dosham asti hmm Uh, so if in your books if you have mahan under the heading of pratipadikam make it mahat okay the shabda itself is mahat the prathama vibhakti ekavachana will be mahan mahan mahantau mahantah okay so here we have a crossword in the next page we have a crossword so we are introduced to some halanta shabdas and we are given uh, prathama vibhakti rupani in ekavachana dvivachana and bahuvachana of certain shabdas okay adaha padaranjinyam kechana halanta shabdah nihitah santi tan ekatra kuruta so here you have to find wherever you have halanta shabdas means words that make sense um, we have to identify so in the first row what words do you see bishak ah uh, bishak is there in the first row if you go across row okay the second column it starts bishak all of you are you able to see that word so you can uh, write it down bishak and another word is also there in the first row can anybody else identify it in the first row itself let us go row wise so that we will not get lost in the first row there is another word other than bishak which is also a halanta shubhanama kal kal it is in reverse Shubha. order the letters Suhrudav. are in reverse order suhrudav suhrudav ah, no, suhrudav okay so uh, on the other side of the flower that were uh, letters are there suhrudav <clears throat> anantaram in the second row uh, we don't really have a word which is running across the row um in the third row also we don't have anything that is running across uh, in the fourth row if you come to the fourth row mashva go bhava shra that row there is a word diagonally up going diagonally up starting from the fourth row two words are there what are those 
going up diagonally starting from the letters that are in the fourth row Freeman uh what did you say ah uh, correct shreminau it is not shreeman it is shreminau shreminau means he who works hard and then there is one more bhaginaha apachati va bhaginaha bhaginaha is there it uh, bha is starting in the fourth row and if you go diagonally to the right upwards bhaginaha is one word shraminau is another word okay and then um, and then if you go to third row with one letter you if you go down you will find a word nama sorry sorry mm, no 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 there nothing in third row let us go to fifth row now coming to fifth Bhagini. row bagini nama shabda hasti kalu nama nakusakalinga ha nama shabda shubha nama first shubha nama paini chestu shubha nama hmm so nama shabda is naman shabda nakaranta shabda yes so you Haan. can take that you can take that okay nama it starts in the third row uh, the first column na is there you can also make it a compound word and we can start from shubha nama also okay but nama is fine anantaram in fifth row there is again another word starting in the fifth row and going diagonally upwards diagonally upwards to the right vishvajit vishvajit ah vishvajit vishvajit is there vishvajit is there again in the fourth row there is a word from which if you go down you can make a word in the fourth go swami. row go swami go swami swami ekkada undi oh it way punda yeah 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 diagonally down okay. go swami is there diagonally down there is another word which is going straight down starting in the fourth row it is starting in the fourth row but going down straight not diagonally goshavu sevi ah samaja sevi samaja sevi okay in the last column it is there samaja sevi samaja sevi hmm and then uh, so we finish the five rows in the sixth row there is one word which is going across in the sixth row itself there is a word within the sixth row itself upanetra upanetra va ah uh, upanetra dhari ah uh, upanetra dhari right adhe anukuntanu upanetram man undal kada ah uh, upanetra dhari and then hmm. uh, there is another word which is starting in the sixth row but going upwards diagonally netra agaku sorry 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 ah uh, wait 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 parisrami parisrami parisram parisrami parisrami now parisrami now ah ekkada where is that aha uh-huh. parisrami now yeah you can uh, you can make that uh, yes parisrami now early shraminau now you can add pari also to that pari shraminau okay fine after that in seventh row ekaki ramaya ekaki is there ekaki is there ramaya ha ramaya ramayana ramaya is not uh, halanta shabda so we cannot uh, mark that second line lo shweta dari undi chudandi Sweta vastra dhari undi. Second ah, line. Correct. Correct. From the second row, yes, from the second row, if you come diagonally down, if you come diagonally down, we can find Sweta yeah, vastra dhari. Sweta vastra dhari. Okay. From the second row, shve. If you come diagonally down, Sweta vastra dhari. So that uh, finishes the seventh row. And then coming to eighth row, there are two words here across within the row itself utsahi now utsahi now utsahi now and then the second word is in reverse order 
ಮಹಾನ್ ಹಾ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಹಾನ್ Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen or sixteen? How many did you get? Sixteen. Sixteen. Column words could only make a dandy inka. Ah, uh, sixteen are there. Huh? Anni, anni vai pula manam choose ham. We saw the columns and rows uh, and diagonally also. Okay. and then uh, i am not sure if you have seen uh, if all of you have seen this 1 2 3 4 5 5th row starting from shri we if we go upwards the shri man is there 5th row last but one column shri is there starting there go upwards shri man is there okay shri man adarsham kuda undi adi kuda idu adarsh adarsh madar ಶಬ್ದ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸೇವಿ ಸಮಾಜ ಸೇವಿ ಆದರ್ಶ ಸಮಾಜ ಸೇವಿ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಬಾಟಮ್ ಲೈನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇವಿ ಸೇವಿನ್ ಶಬ್ದ okay now let us see here here the pratipadikams of the shabdas and the prathama vibhakti roopani are given halanta shabdanam prathama vibhakti roopani udaharane darshitani santi yatho daharanam annesham shabdanam prathama vibhakti roopani likhata so one example is given based on that we have to figure out the forms of uh, the other pratipadikas so shriman in ekavachana prathama vibhakti ekavachana shriman shrimantau shrimantah okay vanij the prathama vibhakti ekavachana roopam is vanik dvivachanam vanijau vanijah vanijah anantaram sukhrid uh, the ekavachana roopam also is sukhrid okay sukhrid sukhridau sukhridah ಅನಂತರ ಪಥಿನ್ ಓಕೆ ಪಥಿನ್ ಏಕವಚನ ಇಸ್ ಪಂಥಾ ಪಂಥಾನೌ ಪಂಥಾನ ಪಥಿನ್ ಅಂಟೇ ಏಂಟಿ ಪೆಡೆಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯನ್ ಅನಂತರ ಋತ್ವಿಜ್ ಋತ್ವಿಜ್ ಜಕಾರ ಅಂತ ವರ್ಡ್ ದ ಪ್ರಥಮ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಏಕವಚನ ರೂಪಂ ಇಸ್ ಋತ್ವಿಕ್ ಋತ್ವಿಜೌ ಋತ್ವಿಜ ಆತ್ಮನ್ ಪ್ರಥಮ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಏಕವಚನ ಇಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಆತ್ಮನೌ ಆತ್ಮನ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಭೀಮಕರ್ಮನ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಕರ್ಮನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಶಬ್ದ ಭೀಮ ಇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಅ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಕರ್ಮ ಕರ್ಮಣಿ ಕರ್ಮಾಣಿ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕರ್ಮ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕರ್ಮ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕುಂಬ್ಲಿಂಗ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ನಪುಂಸಕ in napumsaka we have karma karmani uh, karma karmani karmani okay karma karmani karmani this is in napumsaka in pumlinga the same karma will have karma karmanau karmanaha okay karmanau karmanaha that is if uh, the karma shabda is uh, um, is uh, pumlinga okay ಅನಂತರ ಯೋಗಿನ್ ಯೋಗಿ ಯೋಗಿನೌ ಯೋಗಿನ ವಿದ್ವಸ್ ವಿದ್ವಾನ್ ವಿದ್ವಾಂಸ ವಿದ್ವಾಂಸ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಶಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ವೈಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ 
so i want you to go over it again and since the shabdas are also new you practice them a little bit before we move on to the abhyasa okay 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 so we shall stop here so any questions for anyone uh, ma'am what do you mean by rutwich uh with which ritvik we'll see so ritvik is the prathama vibhakti form and ritvij is the actual shabda it is there in uh, actually pumlinga and napumsaka linga uh, you can also say in prathama vibhakti as ritvik also uh so he who does uh, the yagna the meaning oh, oh. of the ritvik is uh, he who performs yaga okay they are also mem, called hota okay. mem vartman ante ha huh? vartman vartma sabda ha vartma marga margam vartma means margam means like a road path Okay, okay. And in the same page, you have vipaschit, uh, means a scholar. So a person who performs yaga like a priest, okay, is called a ritvik. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so okay. So any further questions? if not then we'll stop here anybody who would like to say the shanti mantra mahodaya om agam jam om sarve bhavant sukhinaga सर्वे सन्तु सर्वे भद्रा पश्य कचि दुख भाग्भव ओं शाति 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 धन्यवाद भगिनी धन्यवाद महोदय सर्वे धन्यवाद 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 शुभरात्रि